Hi everyone, Justin here. I want to explain to you how to tell the difference between a brown trout and landlocked salmon. Or to tell the difference between a landlocked salmon or brown trout, whichever way you want to put it. Because it's so easy, extremely easy, as you're going to see in this video, it's extremely easy to mistake a brown trout for a landlocked salmon or a landlocked salmon for a brown trout. And me and my friend Ed are guilty of that. You're going to go on to see in this video me pulling out my personal best landlocked salmon, the biggest freshwater fish I ever pulled through the ice. And I actually did think it was a salmon right out of the gate. I'm saying, oh, to Ed, I think it looks like a salmon. And he's going, no, he's saying, no, no, it's a land, it's a lake trout. It's your first togue, your first lake trout, because I've never caught lake trout. And Ed hasn't caught lake trout either. So we were fishing. Whoa! Woo! No, it's a salmon, I think. No, it's a salmon. That's a salmon? Or, that's a salmon, I think. I don't know, man. It looked like it had a square tail. It has a square tail. That's a laker. Is that a laker? Watch you just, caught you just caught your first. Just caught your first laker. Thing don't oh, that's beauty, buddy. So we were fishing in this area where it had lake trout, landlock salmon, brook trout, perch, some bass, pickerel, things like that. Had all different species of fish. and. We were actually fishing just under the ice for the salmon and trout because that's kind of what we were targeting that particular day. But this lake that we were on did have lake trout and Ed's running, you just caught a togue. That's a, that's a trout. And I'm, I thought it looked like a salmon when I was seeing it down in the hole and I pulled it out of the ice and I'm, and I'm looking at him and saying, I think it's a salmon. And Ed's going, no, it's a trout. And he had me convinced that it probably was a lake trout. And then I'm, looking at it studying it more i'm like I'm looking at the coloring of it and the the head it looked a lot like a brown trout so then i started thinking brown trout and i'm telling ed no i really i think it's a brown trout and he so then i was starting to think that he was right that it was a trout but i was thinking brown trout and he's thinking togue or lake trout but so there's some a lot of similarities to from a male landlocked salmon to a brown trout. Brown trout can look a lot like a male landlocked salmon that's in the spawning colors. Or when that land, male landlocked salmon gets older in age and bigger, they can look a lot like a brown trout and they can be easily mistaken for a big brown trout or a brown trout can be sometimes mistaken for landlocked salmon because you can catch silverish, grayish colored brown trout. I see it all the time, I'm sure you do too. People will pull out a brown trout out of the ice or catch one in freshwater fishing season and they can think that it's a landlocked salmon because it's got that spotting and that coloration of a landlocked salmon. And, and female landlocked salmon can have the, look similar to brown trout. So I want to explain to you how to tell the difference between these two species of fish. So when looking at these two fish on, a, on trout with brook trout, brown trout, and now we're talking brown trout. So when looking at the caudal fin, the actual tail fin or caudal fin of a brown trout, if you take a straight edge right to it, it's going to be squared right off 90 degree perfectly straight from tip to tip on that caudal fin. On landlocked salmon, now sometimes the tails of a bigger, larger male landlocked salmon can almost appear squared 90 degree, but it's going to have a slight, slight little V notch shape to it. It's not gonna be perfectly straight on the back of that caudal fin on a landlocked salmon. So there's that. And now some other ways to tell the difference between a brown trout and landlocked salmon or the difference between a landlocked salmon or a brown trout is looking at the adipose fin. The adipose fins are just up, they're on the back side of the fish and just up an inch or so from the tail fin or the caudal fin. And those adipose fins on brown trout can be, have lot spotting. They can be lighter in color and have spotting on it. And that adipose fin on a landlocked salmon is going to appear darker and not have spotting on it. And also, just up from the tail, called the, uh, it's actually the caudal peduncle. <laughs> these are funny names for these fins and stuff, but... 
So just up from the caudal fin, or in other words, the tail, the very butt end tail end of the fish, on a landlocked salmon, the caudal peduncle, the actual, the butt of the tail, just before the caudal fin, just before the actual very end of the fish, that caudal peduncle is going to be thinner and not as thick through and through on a landlocked salmon. That caudal peduncle on a brown trout is going to appear thicker. And that's a one really cool feature to look for on whether or not you caught a landlocked salmon or a brown trout is looking at the upper jaw, the maxillary part of the lip of the upper jaw on the fish. And that maxillary part of the lip or upper jaw extends beyond the eye on a brown trout and it's more level with the top of the eye on a landlocked salmon. And also too, what people have pointed out to me and what, and what I've noticed in photos and doing my research, brown trout have shorter, stubbier noses. The upper part of the nose or face of a brown trout is shorter than on a landlocked salmon. Landlocked salmon have them longer noses. So these are all really cool features and traits of the fish that you gotta look out for so you can really, so you don't make the mistake that me and Ed made in mistaking a landlocked salmon for a brown trout or mistaking a brown trout for a landlocked salmon. So next time you go and catch a brown trout, you're going to be able to tell immediately by looking at these, looking at all these things, looking at the caudal fin and the caudal peduncle and the maxillary and the nose and all that. When you're looking at those features of the fish, you're gonna be able to pinpoint exactly what species it is. And in this video, you're gonna plainly see that me and Ed mistook this male landlocked salmon that I caught that was nearly two feet long, 23 and a half inches long, and almost four pounds, like 3.84, just shy of four pounds. Uh, we were mistaking it for a brown trout or lake trout. And I thought right out of the gate when pulling it through the hole, I'm like, man, it looks like a salmon, a landlocked salmon. But I was convinced, very easily convinced, because I wasn't actually 100% sure myself. I really was adamant that it was a brown trout. I was like trying to convince Ed that it was a brown trout all day long. But then me and Ed did some research, and looked into it, and he asked, Ed asked some game, a game warden buddy of his, the game warden reached out to a biologist, showed the pictures, and we did research online and all that. And we learned that it was a male landlocked salmon that I caught and it spawned in colors. That was just, it was a beautiful, absolutely, as you're going to see in this video, it's a gorgeous, beautiful fish. It's going to be extremely hard to top off. I don't know that I'll ever go on to catch another salmon like that again or, or any other fish like that. It was, it's just a phenomenal fish. Ed said it's one of the prettiest fish he's ever seen caught through the ice. And he himself has never caught one like that, he said. And he said that he's caught in one freshwater fish equally that size. It was a brook trout that he caught that was, it was like 20 some odd inches long and weighed three to four pounds. And he's only caught one of them in his life. He's 42-ish years old. I'm 40. Smash that like button for me before you go. Please drop your comments below and let me know if this sort of thing has ever happened to you before and, and misjudge, uh, Misid in a fish. Have you ever misidentified a freshwater fish in your life? Please let me know in the comments below. Let me know what you think of this video, whether or not it was helpful or not helpful, or if or let let me know if me and Ed are fools and to even be posting this. Just let me know in the comment. I mean, we're I'm not afraid to embarrass myself. I I make a fool of myself and embarrass myself a lot, and it doesn't bother me. It bothers my wife and other friends of family, but it doesn't bother me the least bit. Let me know in the comment if I'm, if this was way over the top, if I uh, doesn't like the cold. Right I think we got it. Whatever it is, I think we have it. Hey. Oh yeah, we got it. Oh, we got it, whatever it is. It feels good. It feels really good. It feels really good. It 
feels really good. That camera there keeps feels really nice. Whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa! Whoa, whoa! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Whoa, whoa! Whoa! Woo! Woo! It got a leaker! No, it's a salmon, I think! No, it's a salmon! That's a salmon? Or that's a salmon, I think. I don't know, man. It looked like it had a square tail. It has a square tail. That's a laker. Is that a laker? Watch you just caught your first. You just caught your first laker. Thing don't keep oh, that's beauty, buddy. I broke my tripod. It's a great big laker. Woo! Good job, man. Is it man. a laker or a salmon? Good job. Oh, look at that. Oh wait, you're right on my lawn. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, you're oh. right be all right behind you. Okay. Yeah, go that way. There you go. Oh, nice. yeah. Let me uh, do uh, a. He's all. Uh, yeah. What? Yeah, I would. It's always like hook. Look at how pretty that Dad, is. Dad, what is that? That's a lake trout. I think it's a salmon. No. Oh, it's a salmon all day long. No, it's not. He's a square tail. Look at the tail. Oh, look at the hook. That's a, you sure that's not? Oh, he swallowed it. Trout. I'll have to cut the line on him. Yeah. That's a you want to see the hook jar on this one? That's awesome. That Go right see under? if that's still recording. Oh, well, this is. Was it right under the ice? Yeah, yeah. right yeah. under the Adam ice. Knew. Yeah. Yeah. Adam knew that you were a YouTuber. Hey. Yeah, right under the ice. That's the lake trout. Is it gone? Yeah, oh, that's, that's a trout. trout. Adam. That Come on. We'll go to this one over here. Is that still recording? Is that one? Is that one still recording? Yes. I don't see. What is that? It's actually a salmon, Bryson. But he's calling it a lake trout, but it's a salmon. It's a landlocked salmon. Either brown trout or. You sure that's a? Are you sure that's not a salmon? I'm almost positive that's a salmon. Hundred percent. Yeah, let's take a look. We have the yes, gold. The landlocked salmon. That's a lake trout. No, the landlocked salmon have the big V. They're more tail. silver. They're more. Yeah, oh, so that's, that's a, that's a lake trout, trout, huh? That's oh, a lake yeah. trout. My yeah. first yeah. lake see trout. That? See how square it is? Oh, okay, that's a lake so trout. The, the salmon. Have, when they, when you open the tail up right here, the salmon would have a very oh, they, fine yeah, the v. salmon have the V. Yeah. And he's got the hook too. Wow. Look at that. That's one of the prettiest. That I think that is. Man, oh, that's a good one. That's the prettiest trout I've ever seen. Good job. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> uh, well, I don't. Good job. I want to take pictures and stuff. Oh, he's pooping on me. He's Ooh, creaming he's on milking. me. Yeah. He's milking on me. Male. That's a male. Yeah. I'm, I'm making a fool of myself, probably. Yeah, he's Dad, milking. Dad, that's, are you putting this on That's YouTube? the biggest fish I've ever caught Dad, in my life through, through the ice, YouTube? actually. Well, clearly. He's going to be on YouTube. Oh, shoot. Uh oh. Oh, watch out, there's line in him. There's, I don't want you to get tangled in the line. Oh, watch out, you're on my line. Go that way. That Adam, way. Adam, this way. That way. Stand by me. Look at him. I got to rinse him off. <laughs> Dad, that's Adam, the biggest fish um, I ever caught. My camera. hands are filthy from it. Is it still going? Yeah. You want to be on YouTube? Just stay in front of the camera. Oh, Candy, do you want to be on YouTube? I'll have to get my pictures taken. Oh, bitty, bada, bitty, bum, bitty, bada, bitty, bada, bitty, 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 bitty. I broke my, uh, do you want to be on my YouTube? tripod on them. I'm going to have to buy a new one of them. I've been on YouTube. Ever since I was your age. Well, you know, that was a good one. Yeah, let's get them. Oh, but I watched your videos. Today, and I'll ask my dad if we can take a five foot. I'm gonna look for that. This is on live TV. He just caught a big fish. It won't stop, so I can hold it. Go on this video. Go on the video. I want it. I want it. Big old lake trout right there. There's my This is fucking you! Yeah, baby! Get some. Few, I'm gonna have to measure them up to weigh them. Yeah, that's a I nice one. That is a that's a nice fish. Wait, is that awesome to be on YouTube? Oh yeah. Every both of these are on the ah! same. Get out! Get out of there! Don't let them. Stay away from my. Yeah, he was uh, in front of that one. I'm very uh. One. I'm using it for thumbnails. Can you say that? 
Okay, hey, back yeah. away from the camera. All right, I gotta go back. It's definitely a brown trout. Yeah, that's a nice one. Whew. I guess it could be a toad. Oh, man, he won't stop. He won't stop. Ugh. Stop, bud. Oh, there we go. Whew. Yeah, he's nice. Yeah, we'll have to settle the debate whether or not it's a brown trout, salmon, or a lake trout. I think it's a brown trout, personally. It's a big old brown. All right. Sweet. Cool. It's a lake trout. I think it's a brown trout, personally. It's a big old brown. All right. Sweet. Cool. All right, everyone, smash this like button for me, could you, if this video was helpful or if you like this video in any way. If you love to ice fish, catch salmon and trout through the ice, please hit that like button. And yes, and definitely drop the comments below. Let me know if this is sort of thing has ever happened to you, if you've ever misidentified a fish in your life. Let me, or just comment. Tell me how much embarrassment I, I am for posting this and how much of a fool me and Ed were to mis-ID that beautiful landlocked salmon. Just leave them comments, man. I'd love to hear from all of you. Yeah, I'd love to converse with you guys, the guy, all of you that are viewing my videos. And just drop your comments. Smash that like button before you go. If you're not subscribed to Spikes and Gills YouTube channel, please subscribe now. Click the notification bell so you'll be notified of all future uploads. I don't want you to miss any future uploads. I don't want you to miss next week's episode and the weeks to come. Definitely subscribe to Spikes and Gills. And have you ever heard of the super thanks? Uh, YouTube has this feature for those that have YouTube channels. There's a heart with a dollar sign in it with thanks next to it. It's a tab that you can click on below the YouTube videos called super thanks. You can click on that and go in there. That's where viewers that are very supportive, that want to support the people that are watching YouTube, that's where they could donate money. It's a donation, so it's a tax write-off. Any amount you donate can be a write-off towards the, your deductions and write-offs at the end of this year during tax season. So definitely check out Super Thanks. It's where you could donate however much you want, whether it's just three dollars, five dollars, ten dollars, twenty dollars, whatever. It can be a small amount, large amount, however much you feel like you want to donate to Spikes and Gills to help fund the efforts for for like me and my friends to go to deer camp, go on fly fishing trips and bear hunting trips and moose hunting trips, deer hunting trips, and all that stuff. Every little bit helps a lot to help buy new camera equipment, new computer, buy gear to go, and obviously buy that gas, that expensive gas, help with lodging and all that stuff and food on, when I'm traveling and going on these ice fishing trips and fly fishing trips and deer hunting, bear hunting, moose hunting trips. So check out Super Thanks. Be highlighted in the comments and you'll get all, and there's all kinds of, there's all kinds of little cool little perks that YouTube gives those that donate through Super Thanks. They're the people that like to watch on YouTube. So you gotta definitely check out Super Thanks below the video. Don't forget to smash that like button before you go. Definitely subscribe to Spikes and Gills. Greatly appreciate the support and follow everyone. All right, see you next time.